So what we got here is a homemade go cut. I know there's quite a few videos on YouTube about this, but I thought I'd just make one anyway because I had some trouble with the steering assembly. I thought I'd help some people out. Um, originally, I decided to go with the bar down design instead of going up. We had it go down here. But the problem with it going down, because the pegs were forward, was that when you turned the wheel to the right, the peg they actually went to the left. So the steering was lopsided. So what we ended up having to do was instead of, <clears throat> as you can see here, I had I made these, I welded these here, and if you look, it's just underneath the frame because I designed it so that the these pieces could be underneath. But the problem with that is that, like I just said, when you turned it to the right, the wheels went to the left. So what I did was I made a little extension piece here, welded on a flat bar, double nut a screw here for a good hinge, a uh, screw, what am I saying, a bolt for a good hinge. The radius on the turning isn't like immaculate, but I mean, a go-kart isn't going to be like a regular car. So as long as it turns a decent amount, I'll show you. Hang on, let me get up on this tape. Please. Custom made steering wheel. Went with like a, an airplane design, a little more comfortable on the hands. But I mean, overall, it's it's a good steering like radius. What's good is I like that it's a, it's a very touchy steering because when you're sitting down, you don't want this to hit your knee. So that's about as far as it's going to go. But as you can see, that's decent enough for a go-kart. I mean, it turns well. Uh, a lot of people are saying that they had problems because the uh, because the toe of the tires was not not even. So let me straighten this out here. If you look, I mean, it's cambered a little. Not bad. This one's a little more cambered. I don't know if you can really tell. It's just a tiny bit more. It's not a huge deal. Like I said, it's a gold cut. So believe it or not, this uh, this frame that I have here, I made this like jeez six seven years ago I'm 19 now so I made it when I was like 13 or 12 years old and uh, actually ended up using it because I planned on making a go-kart back then but for now oh, another thing I wanted to say too these bearings bearings are very expensive I went to AutoZone they wanted like $19 a bearing so uh, what we did was we took the bearings from Harbor Freight out of these tires they come with bearings inside of here as you can see what I did was uh, cut it out, just mounted it on here, and it works perfect. I just put some tacks there so that way it doesn't slide up and down. Looks like shit right now because, uh, well, like I said, I freaking I took them out of wheels. But I mean, it, it's it's very solid. You know, this thing ain't going anywhere as long as the as long as it's solid. And another problem I ran into was this. Originally, you could see that I <clears throat> see how it's a little longer there. The original piece was down here. You can even see the hole in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. But this piece here wasn't turning the wheels long enough, so I had to do a little extension. Like I said, now they're turning great. Uh, still going to do the rear end. What I did right now was I cut all, I cut the uh, the floorboard piece right now. I just grinded the edges of it so the grind is out. And I'm just going to mount that inside of there. After I get that in and I stop putting the rear axle on, actually what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put that in here. This go <coughs> That piece right here goes right here and I'm going to put off a little halfway floorboard here so that the pedals can be placed in here and after I get the pedals in the the, 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 the pedals in the <laughs> the floorboard and I'll take another video and show you guys what's going on there but uh like I said the <clears throat> this steering was a pain in the ass so if you're going to make it go underneath you want the pegs to be on this side instead of this side like I did because I had to make a little modification with a flat bond or anything here but uh, so far, so good. So I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching the video, and you all have a good day.